Okay, good evening everybody. Hi, this is Barry here from Matosu Crafts. Um, we'll just hold on a little bit while just for um, people to... Oh, <laughs> Jay's in the living room and he's just turned on a life and I can hear myself talking great. Okay, um, yeah, we'll just hold on a few, a few minutes just for people to catch on. Hello. So, um, yes, let's have a quick slurp of my tears. It's been a busy, busy, busy weekend. So, um, yeah, I just need to... Um, not long being back from on stage, so I'm quick slurp of tea and then... Hi, Denise, how are you? Hello, Mum, how are you? Thank you for looking after the cats. <laughs> so, good. All right, so we've got a couple of you here. So, welcome. Thank you for joining us tonight. Um... Yes, like I say, it's been a really busy weekend, actually. We just got back from our on-stage in Telford this afternoon, actually. We got back around about, um, was it about half past three, Jay, we got back-ish? Something like that. Hello. Thank you. Yeah, I, I, we had a, yeah, pictures on stage. It was, a, it was a great weekend. So, yeah. So, we've had a, we've had a great weekend, um, and we're going to do a Facebook, well, obviously, we're doing a Facebook Live with you now. So, I'm going to do the, um... I'm going to go through some stuff, some of the goodies which we got over the weekend, and Jay's going to go then hop on after me and do a little bit of stamping um, and actually show you one of our make and takes. Well, not one of our make and takes, one of our swaps which we made for the weekend. So we made God knows how many swaps, loads of them. You can see a picture later on which we posted. I think we've already posted it on Facebook and so on like that of how many goodies we actually got from the weekend. The bottom half of the picture is all of our swaps which we received. The top half of the picture is all of our goodies we received. And I'm actually going to show, share with you some of the goodies now and a little bit of information coming up. Um, yeah, so you can see in front of us. Um, if, you, if you're wondering, so I'm going to explain this now. If you're wondering why I've got a, a plaster on my finger is, all I'm going to tell you is that those paper snips are sharp. Um, and speed crafting and paper snips do not work. And yes, I was I was um, crafting it on stage at the weekend and decided to cut some ribbon and forgot to move my finger out of the way at the same time. Um, hence the blue plaster. Um, and what a palaver that is. If you go and try and find a plaster in a big venue, um, accident forms galore just for a little thread thing, but it, 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 it bled and bled and bled for a little while. But yes, yeah, so if you're wondering what the blue plaster is, be careful of paper snips. They hurt. <laughs> All right, so, um, yeah, and paperwork involved if you do it in a big venue as well. So, lovely. What you can see here is um, one of the little bits of paper. So we've got a clipboard with some nice information. So there's a sneak peek of some of the in new stuff which is coming up, some papers and bits and bobs. And one of the good things which we do... I know, you can't take me anywhere. Hi, people. Sorry, I didn't see you pop on. Um, I know, palaver, real palaver. And no, I'm too close, but you can see... We've got a bag, and we've also got a couple of bags in the house as well because I pinched one of Pips. Um, <laughs> so um, I will get that bag back to you at some point soon. Um, I was wondering, myself, I've got an extra bag somewhere, and yeah, then I realised that I obviously didn't give you yours back from the car. So yeah, we got this. We got this lovely bag, um, and this is one of the new in colours. And you know what? It's so brand new, I can't even remember what it's called now. P um, somebody please tell me what it is peacock um no i was gone completely blank i have to have a little look in a second so yeah here we go um so um no i'm not going to be parading the bag um stolen no not stolen um so yes yeah, so this is the bag and inside this bag we get lots and lots pretty peacock that's it i knew it was peacock something i couldn't remember what it was so this is the pretty peacock new color which is coming out absolutely gorgeous really really love it um, and inside this bag, when we go to on stage, we get it it's filled with lots and lots of goodies. All right. So I'm going to show you what these goodies are. Now, I can't show you the bag properly. We'll take a proper picture of it because I've got the video too close um, to it. So inside this bag, we got some, um, obviously, for bit, it's a business orientated thing as well for us. And fun and games, we get some business orientated supplies. So we've got some um, little... Um, folder dividers paper dividers to go into our folders so we can keep all of our goodies separated our paperwork or even our cards which we make so you've got your thank yous your birthdays etc we can do things like that or separating up your new in colors which you're going to get as well so that'd be really good um we got ourselves a nice new 
um, notepad, which again can be used for jotting down some um, ideas, card ideas, card layouts, color combinations, anything creative. So creativity is calling. Love this one here. And obviously you've got, again, a different style there. Creativity is calling on the back there. I personally quite like this one. I think it's really nice. really like these birds, the colors, great. Um, and also in the bag, we got some pens and bits and bobs as well. And we got some stamp sets in there as well. Now this is one I'm gonna show you. This is a case, sneak peek. This is one of the new stamp sets and we got this free of charge and this was in our bags. This is a new stamp set coming up. Now it coordinates already with the Daisy Punch um, in the catalog currently. So lovely, a little bit of a hint there. That's carrying forward. Um, and we've got the new Daisy here. So a new style Daisy stamp, which will coordinate with the punch as well. Some beautiful other things. And look at this one here. Love, love, love. All right, it's a tiny, it's a mini stamp or it's a, it's a, it's a smaller Daisy. And it also comes with a coordinating punch as well. So you've got a punch with a big one. We've got a punch with a small one. So I can see flowers galore happening here. This one could be layered up on here. You can make all sorts of different things with these different daisies. So I'm really looking forward to playing with this one here as well. It's a new Kling stamp, this particular one. So it's the red rubber Kling. So it will sit nicely on your blocks. Um, absolutely amazing, beautiful, love it. So that was a freebie one, which we got in our bag here as well. Um, and that was it. That was what we got in our bags. Okay. And then throughout the day, I'm going to, I'm rummaging. Sorry. Um, oh, you have, well, this punch here. Yeah, I know. So this, this stamp set is going to be perfect. It's Daisy Lane. Um, uh, oh, you're singing. Okay. All right. And so Jay's writing stuff down and he's singing away in his head. Okay. We don't want him to start singing. All right, and then throughout the day, we get to pick, we get prize patrols, so we get given a badge with a number on it, and we can, um, all fun and games, and every now and then throughout the day, they, they show up a number and we get to win prizes. And um, Jay won first, and he won this um, Genuine Gems. Okay, it's going a bit jittery. Hopefully, we're getting a good signal here. Um, genuine Gems stamp set. So this one here got some really, really nice um, Evening Donna, um, really, really nice sayings on here as well. So we've got some, we've got some nice new sentiments. So that could be mixed and matched with any card which you're doing as well. Um, and we also won. No, okay, wait for it. Okay, we also won. Wildly happy. Look how cute these are. All right, we've got here. Oh, thank you, Lola, for this one as well because I didn't actually win this one, but we swapped this one out with Lola because she preferred one which we actually won, and I we liked this one. Thank you, Lola, for swapping with me, and I know you're watching this as well. Look how cute this is. Look at those little bunnies up here. Okay, really, really cute. And this fox and a little baby fox, panda, baby panda, and the elephant and the baby elephant. It's just so so cute. Um. So yeah, so it's. It is, it's lovely, all right, and we got that free of charge and we won that, um, or Lola won it and luckily swapped out with us. Um, the one which we got was really nice as well, but it was suited, um, it suited her more. She loved this one just as much, um, but could use the other one more and we felt we could use this one. So thank you, Lola, so much for swapping with us on that one. You've done really, that's great. And um, we were also, now they also got um, an all attendee giveaway. And we were given a whole packet of designer series paper. So the Mosaic, uh, Mosaic Mood Speciality designer series paper. So it's a special paper. And let's open this up and show you briefly. I actually haven't even opened this up myself. So I don't actually know what the papers look like properly. I haven't actually had a good close look. Ooh, pretty. All right. So we've got some, we've got some um, glossy bits on there as well. Um, there we go. So come like, on, yeah, that's lovely. That's that. Lovely colour combo. Oh, this one's lovely. Just look at that one there. That's it, getting that shine. Oh, and that one there. So you've got your nice, that's it, it's catching it. And the last one there. So that's what you get, but hang on a minute. Turn it over and we get a whole new so these ones are obviously, I haven't got any of the glossy parts on it, um, but they are just as good. 
as well. So, ooh, yes. <laughs> All right, so we've got some lovely, lovely papers going on here. So, um, yet to decide what to do with them, but I'm sure we will start seeing some, and we'll we're, we're, we're post some lovely bits and bobs as well, using that. So let's pop that to one side. And, um, yeah, and at the end of the day as well, we always get to choose some stuff out of the, the box, the tote box. And one of the stamp sets, which we were lucky enough to be able to pick free of charge out of the box as well, because this is what we were crafting with throughout the day to make them, is free as a bird. Be lovely, excellent, another one. The make and take, which we did, was absolutely gorgeous. Um, really, really nice. And I've got another box of other bits and bobs, like inks which we use, blends which we used, all free of charge. So we really, really do get spoiled over the weekend. Um, and one thing I haven't shown you yet is... Now, I can't show you the inside, but I am going to show you. Let's move over. I am going to show you this lovely catalogue, all right? I can show you the front cover, but I'm not allowed to show you the inside. It's one of the rules which we've got, okay? So I can't, I can't sneak through, but you've seen the, some of the stamps which we've got, and um, we will share. And if you go over onto our blog, you will see the display boards, which are up and about as well, so you can see some of the stuff as, which was already out. There's some other sets. So check out our blog for some more information, but obviously I'm not allowed to show you the inside of the catalogue yet, but this is the front cover of it, which gives you some indication on some of the new sets which are going. We've got some really, really lovely mail card orientated things here. Papers are really, really nice. This, um, uh, you have to forgive me at the moment, I've forgotten the names of them at the moment. Um, it's still so brand new. Um, Say, sail away i can't i can't remember the name of the suite something like that but this one's absolutely lovely uh i've got some make and takes from that and this one down the bottom down here i want to say this one's a sorry sail away yeah and um, magnolia magnolia something i think was this one here and i can't open up the catalog to show you it's hard to check because you'll see inside that's it so that's it so that is the catalog that will be coming out um obviously in june um if you join our team um you will obviously be able to order um early from this in may and yeah so that's that so if you're interested in getting one of these please let register some interest with us as soon as they're available i'll be able to send them out to you so send us an email Ping us a message on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, anything like that. We're all on all of those platforms, and we will we we put you on our mailing list, and we'll get one of these sent out to you um, as soon as they are available. Um, obviously, if you're interested in anything else, we're joining our team, etc., and getting some of the stuff early, and obviously getting yourself some freebie stuff and some discount. Contact us for that as well, and we will we'll quite happily talk that one through with you there as well. But there's some other exciting news I just want to share with you. Um, as well so i'll leave that there so you can have a little um little look there's some exciting news as well coming up um they told us yesterday um that we are getting now if you if you're a, if you're a follower of stamping up then you'll probably know in america they have what we call paper pumping paper pumpkin um all right now that's a subscription service over in america and what they're doing is they're bringing it over here um to try it out um, not as far as I'm aware, not as a subscription service, but it will be a while of, while supplies last. Okay, so starting from the 15th of May, um, yeah, available from the 15th of May, they're saying, while supplies last, you've got the Sew so Shelley kit from Paper Pumpkin, um, which is a kit which is going to be designed by Shelley Gardner, the, um, the, the co-founder of the company. Um, has designed it and has made that one up now what i'm going to do is a little treat for you is i have actually got one of those here so we have got the we've got one of the kits let me come back so i can actually see what i'm doing so i'm going to make this up and then jay's going to hop on for you as well so we've got one of these this is the type of thing which you're going to get all right in the social in the in the social kits um from paper pumpkin this is what we got to make yesterday and what they're designed to do is you're going to be able to make x amount of cards um 
<laughs> yeah. You're going to make X amount of cards and they give you all the stuff you need to do it. You get a, you even get a stamp set as well. So you'll be able to then, once you've made up all your cards, be able to make something else with it as well. Um, so and that's for you to take a keep. But you've got these cards. Now, we didn't actually make this up yesterday. So I'm going to make this up live with you today. And it's designed to be really, really, really nice. You've got this lovely card base, which has already been pre-printed here. You can bring that up which is nice. You've got a lovely envelope here, printed on the front, so you can write the name in there. It's really nice, it's nice and pretty. It's printed in the middle. So yeah, it's all, nothing's gonna come away. It's all part of the design. Um, and then you get all of the embellishments which you need here as well. So I will need some of those. And all of your, um, oh no, don't, it comes with them. What was I saying? Yeah, actually, I thought I needed uh, dimensionals, and there it is. It's all in there. You don't need them at all. Everything is all in here. I've seen you need to supply the ink. Uh, does it come with ink as well, Jay? I'm not actually sure if it comes with ink. Um, it's new to us, so you have to bear with us. But you get everything you need to do this, all right? And it's just basically, so if you want to make some really quick and easy, simple cards. Was that a Yes. I think that's a yes. I think I'm not sure if they come with the ink. Now, yesterday, obviously, I stamped one here in uh, thank you. Um, and that's it. And that's it. So I am going to, you've got a thank you here. You have got um, dear friends. We have got grateful hugs for you. Some, um, some splats so we can grunge it up a little bit more. Yes, it comes with ink. Thank you for that. Okay, yeah, perfect. See, it's all new. We don't, we don't even know it ourselves, really. We're still learning. So we only literally found this out yesterday. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to take off the hugs and pop that on a block. And then I'm going to take off the for you. Okay, I'm going to stamp the hugs first. All right, and it is just, it's so going to be so simple. They're not designed to be complicated at all. It's just so you can have a bit of fun crafting um, get myself in the right bit of a tis was here, but a fun craft, an easy craft, and you can get together with some friends and stamp. All right, so I'm gonna ink up my hugs and go in the center. There we go, take that one off, and then I'm going to then. For you, and I'm using one of our the, the ink spots as well, which is then inked up with some memento ink. Perfect for if you walk for quick and easy out and about crafting as well. And I'm going to go hugs for you there. I think that might be a bit wonky. We we'll see. No, nope, that's fine. Good. Perfect. So it can either go thank you or hugs for you, but I'm going to do it as it was designed for this particular one. Um, that's that one. I will then, where did I put my embellishments there? That's it. So I'm going to take off some of my dimensionals here. Put some dimensional there. They give you, all, they give you enough of what you need and another dimensional probably at the top. We don't want saggy flowers. All right, and another one there. Take those off. That's it. And that can go at the top of those there. I'm going to pop one. down the bottom down here. So I haven't got my pick tool with me. There we go, one can go right there. Okay, and I'm gonna pop some of these on the back here as well. Now obviously when you do get these as well, even though you're using up these stripper dimensionals in the middle, don't chuck it away. Snip into those and use all of these because they're all sticky as well. They're all the same height as these hexagonal dimensionals. Um, so use them. Keep it and use it. And one in the middle so it doesn't sag. All right. We don't like a saggy middle. Um, I will then... Um, just going to loop this round. 
a little bit like so. I'm going to place that around like that. That's then going to just. Sorry, this is. I'm not very good with these things, but it's just going to. It's just going to go behind. Um, you probably may want to put a little bit of glue down on that as well, but obviously they will get held in, or a bit of tape maybe to hold those down. Um, but it's not really. Does you want to? I haven't got time for the glue to set up, so I'm just going to stick this over the top, like so. It's just spread it out a little bit, and that's going to go down like that. All right, and there we have it. There is the first sneak peek of the new upcoming paper pumpkin. Um, kit you saw how quick and easy that is now I, I can't remember exactly how many is in there um just watch this space i'm just telling you this you, you're not going to just be making one card um you're going to make several quite a lot of cards in there i want to say 12 a couple i don't quote me on that at the moment um of how many you're making but it's if you want so a quick and simple and see it comes a matching envelope if you want a quick and simple um card to make with some friends I, this is something to watch this space and look out for, okay? Because it's something new which is coming to the European markets. Um, and Australia, oh, it's, got, it's going worldwide. It's something, it's normally only in America, so it's going worldwide and they're, they're trying it out. But it is while supplies last. All right, so that's that one there. Um, and there is also one other thing. Now, I haven't got any pictures. Of, oh, 12 cards. Thank you, Sarah. That's it. Um... There is also another thing which is coming out as well in um, soon for May, which is the Everything is Rosy product medley kit. All right, so this is only a kit which is it's not even in it's not even going to be in the brand new catalogue, um, and it's only going to be available um, during May as well for a limited time or while supplies last. Okay, so we will start posting some information out there about the Everything is Rosy product medley kit. What I can tell you is. Oh my god, it's it's gorgeous. It's beautiful. The colour combination is great. It's just a colour combination I wouldn't have put together. It's got some foiling on it. It's beautiful. Um it's it's aimed at your avid crafters, okay? So um it's it's gonna be um it's it's for more of the serious crafters and obviously you'll get everything which you need to make some crafts with no instructions on anything so you can you can go out there and you can just do whatever you want and not not have to follow the rules. You can just you just got everything you need to make need to make loads of cards and don't follow the rules. But you will see lots of people posting some information out there and pictures, which I'm sure you'll be able to case as well and copy um but you'll see. But that's available in May. So look out for the Everything is Rosy product medley kits. Um so yeah, the box includes a gorgeous stamp set, paper embellishments, with, and like I say, with no specific projects, so you can design your own. Um, and again, it's in May for a limited time only. Go over onto our our blog. We've got some information written up there. Again, if you're interested in getting that kit, please just send us an inf some information, and we will um, register your in interest. And we, as soon as we get some information about it, we can then send that out to you, and let you know how and when you can purchase that from us. All right, so um, I think I'm done now. Um, so it's now time, I think, for Jay to come over and do some um, do some simple stamping with you. Um, yeah, avid crafters will absolutely have a blast with this. So if Jay wants to come out and take over, he can do. So thank you very much for listening. Um, I will switch over for Jay. Jay's now going to do a bit of crafting with you and probably a little bit of singing as well. You know what he's like. I'm here. He's here. So um, whilst we're doing our transition, just have a little listen to some, um, to some music and we will, we will, we will carry on. Let me just pack up. He so wants to start singing. <laughs> I'm doing the movement. <laughs> that was high pitch. 
Right, have I got everything? Hello everyone! Thank you for joining us today. Um, so our swap uh, was using Waterfront. Where is it? Waterfront. Ooh. Uh, <laughs> so I made 20 cards uh, and 32 3D. The 3D uh, mini treat bag, clutch bag, mini handbag, I don't know, but it's a treat. Uh, it's a treat box. Uh, bag. Um, I've already posted up on our blog. Um, I have done a video, but I haven't edited it. Um, so uh, look out for that uh, next week on our blog. Uh, so I decided to do the card front. Uh, I will do kind of like a simple stamping one, and then I will go on to our actual swap because the actual swap is, I would say, more for casual crafters because it does use one, two, three, four, five, six color stamps. Uh, no, so six color ink pads. Um, so I thought I'll, I'll do a quick simple one first using the note card. Uh, so everyone, um, so this is already pre-scored. Uh, it comes in an envelope and it comes in a pack of, I don't know. <laughs> 20. Yes. 20 or 40. Or 40. Hi, Sarah. Hi, Denise. Hi, Donna. Sorry, I'm still kind of like getting myself ready. So I would, oh, I will use the Mento. I thought for the simple stamping, we'll just use one stamp. Uh, one 20. 20. 20. Okay, thank you. Uh, Bar is still in the background. Um, yeah, so I thought I'll, I'll try and do one color. Uh, let's see if it's successful. But, uh, <laughs> I don't know if it will. I haven't tried it yet. So let's craft together. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sorry, I had coffee. Um, <laughs> had a nap after we got home. Um, and yes, put up. Uh, put it's a bit high. Yeah, I'm, I'm a bit excited with all of this on stage and uh, all of these new products. It's just so exciting. Uh, thanks, Sarah. Hi, Aaliyah. Right, so what am I doing? So as I said, note cards there. Memento ink pad, uh, we have the, look at our waterfront. Um, so it is stained, it's photopolymer. Um, it was stained last year when I was using brush shows. Um, but hopefully, I don't know if you've seen, there's gonna, gonna be a new stamp pad cleaning, stamp cleaning pad um, that's coming up in the new catalog uh, that's on the display board. Um, so hopefully that might just clear this up a little bit. I've cleaned and cleaned it with soap and water. It's still there. But uh, right, so that is uh, Memento. Uh, do you mind me ruining this paper, Barry? <laughs> Are you sure I, I can get... Bear with, bear with. Um, no, it's a nice paper. Oh no, we have loads of that. I thought we got that from on stage last year, but we do have loads of it. We did buy it when it was um, available in the shop, but okay, well. So I'll quickly do this one. Sorry, guys. Uh, right, stamp it off dark. Uh, nope, stamp off. And then slightly, lightly, slightly, lightly. There we go. Uh, so that's one. I'm gonna be using that later. So just quickly cleaning that. Oh, thanks, Carol. It was lovely to meet you. Uh, so we have the trees in there. Ooh. Eh, it's all right. That looked quite light. Oh, that should have been darker, but never mind. Never mind. We'll go with it. So simple stamping. Stamp, stamp, stamp. I will put a house somewhere there. There we go. Okay, that looks all right. Um, and then finally, we should have the thanks. So simple stamping, just um, stamp ink and paper. So waterfront stamp, um, memento ink and paper is the note cards. There we go. So you, everyone needs a thank you card now and again, hopefully most, most of the time. Oh, I didn't do the spray. I will just do a spray. The splatter effect. Uh, that's the one that I forgot. And I will need that later as well. So has anyone got this stamp set yet? Because this is one of my favorite stamp set and I'm so, so happy. Hi, Kathy. Oh yes, you should. It's so much fun. So, so much fun. 
So yeah, so waterfront, I'm so happy that it's gonna carry over to the next catalog uh, and maybe just to kind of like tie it in at the bottom there. There we go. There we go, that's my simple stamping. Fold it in half, black and white, nice and quick. Um, maybe not as quick because I was talking. <laughs> What am I like? Um, yes, it's it's great, isn't it, Carol? There we go. How about that? Do you like that one? I quite like the black and white. Um, yeah, our treat bag was black, white, and gold. Um, oh, there was a song there, but I'm not gonna sing it. <laughs> I've been told off. Yeah, our class attendees always tells me to shush when I start singing. There we go. Oh yes, no, you should get it, Kathy. It's so it's really cool. Um, it's um, easy to make, to make um, lovely cards with it. Right. So that's done. So I will now go on to my swap. Um, I'm just gonna hopefully all of these stamps will be. I don't have a um, example to show you before beforehand what I'm, I'll be making because um, they all went. So thank you everyone um, that swapped with me. Um, we Barry will go through all of our sw swaps um, and hopefully make a video. So what do I need now? Where's my paper? Did you move it, Barry? No, <laughs> I always blame Barry. Right, bear with. I have pre-cut. There we go. So my base card um, is. Um, what is my base card? It is 10.5, so it's 21 centimeters. Uh, can you see 21 centimeters by um, 14 centimeters? So, um, it is slightly shorter than normal uh, A6 just because, um, we do have some um viewers from America, and um, I believe their cardstock is. Um, wider and short, shorter. Yes, so I've kind of like started take, um, shortening my height um, and the way you just need to obviously cut the width if you want the same uh, ratios ratio as our um, as our cards. So that is what did I say? 21 by 14 centimeters, which is four and one eighth of an inch by five and a half. So you still get two uh, cards from one A4 or US letter size card. Um, so that is that. Um, I did actually see, I was all ready and then I went and, sorry, bear with, bear with. Is it this one? Um, and then the layer. So my swap was only actually, um, here we go. Uh, 13 but yes this is it so my layer um, is 13 centimeters uh, by 9.5 uh, which is four no three and three quarters by five and one eighth of an inch so my swap was actually only a layer and then I um, people can then just mount it uh, mat it on a base card so that is that so that what do i need you will need <coughs> i love these colors so pacific point flirty flamingo crushed curry balmy blue coastal cabana and granny apple green granny apple mm, stop it <laughs> right so um my swap because i was doing 20 of them i i, I did use the stamparatos um but you can with um waterfront stamp set um it's oh thank you donna sorry i I keep forgetting to look up and um look at the comments sorry about us playing with the cats because i think they're getting a bit hungry so i don't know if granny's been feeding them really early oh suki i, I think barry's trying to make make them speak <laughs> Oh, Carol, I don't think you need any more coffee. You're so much fun. Uh, right. Um, so when I did my swap, I did. Um, uh, I managed to, to create two mini treat bags from one A4. Um, and I had some leftover cardstock. Uh, being a 
I'm back, I'm back. Being a frugal crafter, I want to use to make use of all of my cards. <laughs> As you do. Uh, so I was left with this small piece of card. So I thought, oh, maybe I wasn't planning on doing card swaps, but I thought, oh, we have some spare card stock. I'll do something quick. Um, so I used the Sampratos and I actually used this up. So this, the dimension of this is, I will show you now. Um, nine centimeters by 5.4, 5 point something, 5.3. And in inches, it should be, it's much better in inches because it's three and a half by two inches. So that was the leftover from my mini treat bag. Um, I got two per A4. Um, I just, oh, I need my phone to remember what I, how I did it actually. But, oh, well, I, I'll, I'll do it on the fly because Barry's got my phone. Um, so Coastal Cabana with your, um, it's like, a, I don't know, what's that called? <laughs> Something, that design, that long thing. Um, so just put that at the bottom, um, kind of like, just a couple of millimeters, um, one eighth of an inch. Um, so I basically use each stamp um, each stamp that I'm using is different colors. Um, so I did that one in Coastal Cabana. I went on to the Granny Apple Green for our spot on feet with feeding them, kept them on to your routine. Um, oh, thank you. Can you get me a sponge, please? Or a dober? A dober. Uh, so Granny Apple Green for the... Sorry, Barry just showed me my card. Um, Granny Apple Green for the trees. So the third stump... I guess on the left stump, what's it called? Trunk, tree trunk, tree oh. trunk. Um, I actually tried to align on that mini bump there. So um, I'm just going to stand up. You don't have to, but um, that's how I kind of like knew where to this, um, to put the stamps on. Uh, so that is done. Garnet apple green is done. Next we have the balmy blue. Oh, thank you, Sandra. Yes, they've been. They have been um, kind of like asking for food for quite a bit now. Balmy blue, I use with the tr um, the mountain. I guess I'll just make sure that's not wet. Bear with. Wow. <laughs> Excuse me, bar's laughing at me. Uh, so balmy blue, tap tap tap. And um, that one, I just did it on the bottom there. So the top of the mountain in between the trees, that is done. Bish bash bosh, as someone would say. <laughs> I don't know who. Um, and then I am do using the dober with crushed curry. So there is a sun for um, from the set. Uh, but I decided to do... A bit of sponging. I do like a bit of sponging. So tap it on your ink pad, um, go off a little bit and then just uh, sponge it. So oh, you could always add more. Um, so just do it lightly um, at first. Sorry, you're wobbling. Um, wibble wobble. There we go. So a bit of um, sponging there. Anyone likes a bit of sponging? I think I was too excitable. There we go. Calm down. There we go. <laughs> and breathe. So a bit of sponging there. What else have we got left? So we are left with Flirty Flamingo and Pacific Point. So the Flirty Flamingo I use for the splatter and Pacific Point I use for... Uh, the sentiment. So now that is pretty much done. Um, I then added um, the decorative ribbon punch. Um, so add a bit of tear and tape on the side. Um, I punch out loads of um, gold glimmer and cut them into three. As I said earlier, I'm a bit frugal um, and I still <laughs> 
I had some spare. So gold glimmer paper, decor decorative ribbon punch, um, and then you can just add that on. Will that actually fit? It's too far. Let's see. Let's see. So add that on. Uh, either or. The back. I also had uh, very vanilla, um, which is here. Very vanilla solid baker's twine. Hi, Karen. Thanks for joining us. Uh, Baris just gone through um, our on stage freebies, the bags, catalogs, stamp sets. Uh, he also shared um, the news that Paper Pumpkin is going, uh, is coming, coming to UK. Uh, Barry's laughing at me because I, oh, I nearly, well, I was kind of singing. Um, coming to the UK, uh, while supplies last, uh, from 15th of May, and I'm just showing my, uh, card swap quickly. I did a simple stamping, black and white, uh, sorry guys, um, with that one, with waterfront, and then I'm just doing my swap. Um, so I had the decorative ribbon punch on the side. Uh, this one is a 10 inch uh, very vanilla solid baker's twine um, for the bow um, and I was just I just wrapped the where you had uh, what's that called adhesive <laughs> there and tape just do that twice there you go and snip it up uh, Barry, where's the snip? <laughs> Here, I've got it. Uh, here we go. Snip that off. And then we have... Uh, mini dimensionals. Obviously, if you have the bigger ones, that would probably be better. Uh, so you won't have soggy middles. So that's the topper, and then I'm just gonna add the bow. But for the base card, that's where I, um, no, not the base, the layer, that's when, where I actually stamp the splatter and the sentiment. So the splatter we're doing in Flirty Flamingo, um, which is, where are you? I had it, right? I used it. I know I used it. It is somewhere. Okay, I'll do the um, I'll do the sentiment first. Uh, Pacific point, and the one that I put is friends. Friends make the good times better. Uh, obviously, it was on stage. It's just amazing to have uh, all the royals. So Queen Pip and her royals. Um, our upline Queen Pip um, and Sarah Lola. Hillary and everyone, it's just been amazing. Carol, yay! Oh, thank, thank you, Betty. Yeah. Oh. yeah, it's somewhere. Right, I'll do this first. Um, so Pacific Point, um, just at the bottom right, uh, because it's photopolymer, you can see through the block. Hopefully that's straight. Um, I tend to craft um, standing up, so. Um, My back does hurt every now and again, um, but it is so much fun. So we keep, we just love crafting. Um, okay, so we have flirty flamingo. It was underneath something. Did I actually move it? Oh, sorry, guys. No, I do not know. What else can we use from the stamp set? Let's have a look. Uh, did I put it back in? Nope, nope. I don't know where the splatter is. All right. So ink pad, ink pad. That's that. That's that. I don't know. It's gone. Have you had it already this evening? Yeah, I've already used it. 
<laughs> Dimensionals. No. <laughs> OMG. Okay, anyway, carry on. Just carry on. I'm sure I can add it on. So, um, Barry can have a look. There we go. So, just take that off. On your other... Yeah. No, um... I use a... I use another block for it. The mystery will be solved, hopefully, at some point. Um, and that one, I think I just did it an inch. So, that's like two and a half. Um, so, align it on the right. Two and a half centimeters. There we go. And then the 10 inch um, bow uh, for the bow, 10 inch Baker's twine for the bow. So what I tend to do is I like the um, one side to be longer than normal uh, than the other one. So I do half of it, uh, take the middle and then slightly just slide it onto the left a little bit. And then just create two loops or one loop on the left, I don't know if you can see, and then just round, round, under, and loop. Easy, right? Uh, we do have, um, and then just hold the middle there and then take it down. There you go. It's a nice and easy bow. And then I added on the clear faceted gems. We still have so much of these, so I thought, oh, I'll, I'll use them up. It's always the small small ones that we have loads of. Um, oh yes, they are, and they're carrying over, so we can still use them. Um, there we go. Are we allowed to say that? Oh, well, I've said it already. There we go, and I then I, it won't go all on the knot, so I've kind of like just put it under, so it's it is kind of like keeping the knot secure, hopefully. So that one, it won't move any further. And I did move that, but it was hard. There we go. So I will just do the... Um, I'll just add that onto the base card. Which was... What did I say? Four... No, 21 centimeters by 14 centimeters. There we go. Oh, thank you. And then that will just go. Is that how I? You could obviously use um, what you call it? Shall we pop? Yeah, we'll pop it up. There we go. Um, you can. Did it fall? I'm still looking for that splatter. I don't. Yeah, it's so weird. I just had it. Did you take it off the block? I did take it off the block because I was using it. It's probably fallen. Um, but anyways, I I, I did um, take pictures of our swap. Um, so just imagine there's some splatter <coughs> on the top left. <laughs> but um, yeah, we'll share that on our on our blog. There we go. Your kitty got it. <laughs> Probably. No, they're being, they're quite good. They tend to not um, eat up our <laughs> stamps. <laughs> they play with the, with the ribbons now and again. Top right hand Eat of the go. screen. <laughs> top right hand corner. So, um, your wallet is on the top right, Barry. Ooh. What's what's there? All right. Blah blah blah. Sorry, I'm using a bit, a, a lot, a bit, a bit of um. Oh, there it is. There it is. That's why I couldn't see it. It was in my memento. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> right. Okay, I'm taking that off. There we go. Not that it makes a difference, but I really, I just really like the color, uh, flirty flamingo, um, and it just obviously you get 
the whole picture of um, our swap but I do like a bit of splatter um, and that was just on there there we go did that make a difference? <laughs> So much money. Thank you very much everyone for um being so patient and thank you Betty for um for giving me some instructions on where I put them. <laughs> Can you show that box that you had your snips in? Looks cute. Ooh, uh what's that from Kathy? This one, um Life is a beautiful thing, um with the uh, love share what you love dsp oh it's there yeah, that was lovely so this one uh, was actually a project i did for the creating kindness blog hub last year i want to say back in september um so hope yeah uh, so it should still be in our blog or youtube um I, i'm sure it's the creating kindness blog hub um yes yeah, so uh share what you love dsp we had um it was inspired by another box that um we oh no was it a sock box that we had or some sort of box and i was like oh that looks funky well we'll we'll use that one so it's kind of like um it's reinforced sides uh it has been used quite a bit um and it's got the colorful you know seasonal layers stitch circles um i might have just snipped that but you can use a triple banner punch uh and some clear drops there yes yeah, so check that out um on our youtube or blog um and i am i need to write up there's gonna be a blog hop this morning not this morning this well in a couple of hours four hours one two three four five six in six hours time so it'll be 2 a.m in the uk uh but it is um around the world blog hop with the stamp review crew um, so I have created my project, um, I have taken pictures, I just need to write up the blog. Um, but yeah, so I'll be blogging three cards for that. Um, so check them out if you're in the US, um, that will be in the evening, I'm guessing. Well, in six hours time, <laughs> it'll be on our blog. Or if, in, if you're in the UK, check it out tomorrow. Or if you're still up, like probably me, um, you can have a look but yes so there we go finally finally there we go what do you think so i i did say it's more for like your casual crafter for this one uh just because of obviously the punching and the layers um but i i think that's class as simple stamping it's still stamp ink and paper and punch uh this one uh with the note card um for the simple stamping so one stamp uh, one ink uh, and then Barry's paper pumpkin let's have a look so look how pretty pretty birdies uh, so hugs for you um, hugs from Shelly paper pumpkin available from the 15th of May thanks so much everyone hi Bridget uh, so thanks everyone for joining us. Uh, look out for more information about the paper pumpkin and the everything is rosy project, e medley. project medley, which is again um, available uh, in May uh, while supplies last um, and it is gorgeous like rose gold um, foiling uh, DSPs um, stamp is amazing um, Yes, shim oh, we forgot the shimmer. Forgot the shimmer There's a shimmer paint in it. Ooh, and it's rose gold. It is amazing. So we'll put out. We have um, taken pictures of it of some projects um, designed by um, the um, yeah designed by artisan Michaela Titoric. So we had the pleasure of uh, checking out her projects. They are gorgeous. Um, so we will post up pictures of that on our blog. Um, and but as I, as Barry has mentioned before, there's no set projects in there, so it's a it's great for um, avid crafters um, to just 
Have a blast. Create everything. Whatever your hearts desire. <laughs> right. Thank you very much. Have a good evening. Have a good afternoon. Whatever time is in your um, country. And thanks again for joining us. I'll just move that there. And yes. Thank you very much. Bye. Bye.